Hi, welcome to the Boomerang Snooker channel. The Boomerang purchased 20 Q-tips of various densities from Wood's Q-slack range, but he could not decide which tip would be the first to go on his Q's. Tip, if he were to test each tip on his Q, and if each tip would last for three months, it would take a year to test out the full range, and that would totally suck. So instead, the boomerang decided to calculate each tip's density by measuring the diameter, height, and weight of the five hard, five medium, five soft, and five super softs, so that he could finally answer the questions. Which tip out of the 20 should he use? Would the results from these measurements teach him anything? The hard tips must be denser than the mediums, right? And the super softs are less dense than the soft tips, obviously, right? So instead of him having to glue the tips to his cue and test them one by one which would take ages and instead of having to listen to him babble on and on saying I think this one feels softer or saying um I think this one sounds harder which would be a highly inaccurate method to test the tips and extremely annoying he thankfully decided to revert to good old simple physics to help him make a quick and decisive decision as to which q-tip he should use. Anyway, after double-checking his measurements, he could finally calculate how many grams were in each cubic centimeter of each Q-tip. In other words, he now knew the exact density of each Q-tip. But after studying the results, my creator, in his wisdom, decided he needed to revert back to his old, but one needs to feel the softness of the tip through one's whole body rubbish and just had to test two tips back to back on his cue. Soft number one and medium number one were the two he chose to compare and guess what, he told me that the difference between them was much greater than he expected. After trying the medium cue tip, then the soft tip, the soft tip generates much more action in the cue ball. The only reason I would not use the soft tip would be if it doesn't last for at least a few weeks, or deforms drastically over a short period of time, which is highly unlikely. Which one would you choose? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. These tips are starting to drive me crazy.